Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about Fresh Release from Miniart. It's a set in 135 scale of course and we get the German tank riders in winter uniform and those guys are coming from 1944-1945 so the late period and they might be handy for a diorama project obviously so you can place them on the tank or any armored vehicle I think you should not be fixed on this ward in the next Naming. you can use it with any other armored vehicle you would like to and well these guys will give a better sense of the size of the vehicle so that's why I always like such releases in 135 scale so of course we have a commercial sample here and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as which we'll see in this video review so the box size is not that huge here is comparison with my hand and as the box art suggests we will get four figurines with various equipment and also they should be pre-positioned as depicted on the box art so the kit number is 35370 and here on the side we have some safety information while on the opposite side you'll find also two other kits which we also reviewed as far as I remember so you can check our YouTube channel and here on the rear side we have a marking guide which is combined together with assembly manual so maybe it's worth zooming in so that you can see it closer so each figure is given uh, the marking guide and as you can see we have the parts numbers so that's why I say it is combined together with assembly steps and of course uh, the poses are predefined as I said before so you won't be able to change much but you have to work on assembling the convincing pose because obviously we get the separate parts and what is always highlighted in my video reviews is this conversion chart on the mini art kits because this is actually a really handy feature and I usually recommend to cut it out from the box and use it in your next builds as well because it's a good conversion table. So it's a side opening box and we have all frames uh, sealed in a plastic bag so I will just cut through it and we will check closer all the parts but straight away I can see that we have here uh, the separate frames for the equipment and separate frames for figurines so it will be interesting to check them in a bit more zoomed in view. So, first of all, let's start with equipment. So, first sprue, it's AC sprue, air conditioner, I guess. And as you can see, we have the various equipment for soldiers. So, you can notice we have one piece helmets, we have also the side bags. Also, we have the shovels and pouches, the uh, water cans, and also daggers here. And overall, molding quality seems to be really nice. And here, if we check what is inside, if camera will focus, you can see that we also have some interior features as well. And that's really important because if you plan to use these um, helmets separately from the heads, obviously, it's a good thing to have interior detailed as well. And the if I flip it over here you can check these parts from the opposite side molding quality is really nice so there is nothing to complain about here and next we continue with the sprue AE so the sprue AE is dedicated to more of the weaponry for those guys so we have various rifles also the magazine and round pouches uh, machine guns here and also the pistols and the pistol pouches so everything is here and again molding quality seems to be fine of course it will depend also on your painting skills but uh, it's also good that we have these uh, items molded as a single piece parts so it will be easier to get them off the sprue and also get the right appearance because you won't have the separate bits which uh, you have to join somehow in a convincing manner here by the way you can see the parts from the opposite side so again even the thinnest parts are molded without any molding damage so that's really cool for this scale it's very important in my opinion next we have we sprue with weaponry again and it's a sprue ad so here we have some, I would say, more modern 
weaponry in comparison with what we saw on the previous one we have the sniper rifles we have also sdg44 as far as i remember here in the middle pistols and various pouches again so a lot of equipment included as a standard package and obviously you will not be using all of this at once and some of these items will go into your spare parts box so it's definitely a good thing to have as a no, but say some nice addition for your future project as well. What is quite interesting always when I check mini art kits is what we get here in the figurines. So as you can see, we have quite standard 135 scale parts design. It means separate hands, legs, and torso. We have a bit of flesh and it's noticeable with a bare eye so you don't have to wear glasses in order to understand this and also we do not have any guiding elements as you can see so that's exactly what i was talking in the beginning of this video that you have to work on convincing poses because otherwise it will look like uh, plastic figurines and we do not want this effect let's say next we continue with another plastic sprue so pretty much the same design as you can see and i guess this um, quite interesting top section parts division is uh, due to the uh, complex shape of the clothing and as you can see we have really nice uh, sculpting quality here so it's just a matter of bringing out these features and let's not forget that we deal with the standard plastic kit molding quality so that's why it's even more impressive because uh, you usually expect something uh, simpler in such kit but here we get a lot of features out of the box and it's definitely worth working on them if you would like to get a bit more convincing finish but again if we look here for example you can see that poses are predefined and you won't be able to change much there are no alternative options for the position of the soldiers which is also quite a shame in 135 scale it's usually a good thing to have some um, assembly options but so let's not forget that we get four figurines here so maybe that might excuse the fact that we do not get anything in terms of the position of these guys and again here we have the force soldier force and the last one and as you can see we even have the boot soils molded separately which is uh, quite nice touch and uh, also as you remember helmets were separate so you can paint the head and then just place the helmet on the top it will definitely speed up the assembly process and make your paint work a bit more uh, precise because let's not forget that this is a 135 scale kit and here you can see comparison with my fingertip those are not exactly the biggest figurines you can get and in 135 scale you still will have to spend some time on precision painting obviously there are no decals or any other uh, symbols included so in case you would like to replicate some patches you will have to do it with a sharp brush and maybe the sharp uh, marker because i saw some modellers actually using the ultra fine uh, marker tip for painting some insignia on the soldier's uniform but it's your choice so definitely think it over and overall i think it's a really cool kit if you would like to get something on top of your vehicle in 135 scale it should look impressive and it should be already available you can get it in Modelimax web shop i will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye